Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it is a beautiful uh, Monday morning here in Austin, Texas. This is day 1014 of the three plus minutes of Planks Challenge. And as always, I am filled with gratitude. Thoughts on my mind uh, this morning. Uh, I was recently listening to a uh, excerpt of a podcast uh, from a gentleman by the name of Sacred Thomas. Um, and it included uh, my friend um, Preston Smiles and his wife, Alexi. And uh, he was talking about safety, uh, more specifically emotional safety. And he was talking about experiences with his wife and how uh, at some point they had nearly come to divorce. And a lot of it came from the fact that there wasn't any emotional safety between both of them. Now, it didn't mean that they had bad days every day, but what it meant was when it came to those truly intimate moments and those deep, dark moments, they didn't feel safe enough to talk to the other one. I can absolutely relate to that. Um, I don't think I ever grew up with the feeling of being feeling safe. And so there were all these walls that I would put up a lot of times. And because of it, I couldn't let anyone really truly in because I felt like if they really came in, they would hurt me, destroy me in certain ways. And um, most specifically, I learned that in my marriage. And uh, ultimately, that lack of safety led to the demise of the marriage for both of us. Because truth of the matter is, I don't think either of us ever really felt safe with the other to tell the intimate details. I think uh, one of the biggest things and something that Preston said was being able to, able to love unconditionally, like, like to humble ourselves so much to understand that no matter what the other person does, if we're loving from a truly authentic space, we can really change the dynamics of our relationship and change the world. And so I think that's part of what I've been going through the last four years is really learning that. And most specifically, learning that with my daughter. She's been a biggest blessing in terms of that and learning to feel safe with her but most importantly, learning to allow her to feel safe with me. She can tell her deepest, darkest secrets. I can come to a space where I can listen to it from a place of empathy and not beating her down. And I'm learning this in this moment with her, so then do it with others around me. And it's been more of a process. And I'm thankful for the process because when I come to these points where I feel more free to be me and be vulnerable, I release a lot of the tension that's been in my body and in my soul. And I'm thankful for it. And though I wish I'd been able to have these tools earlier on, even in my previous marriage, I'm thankful for the lessons that have been learned from it. Now, as I continue to be the best version of myself. Anyway, that's just my thoughts for the day. As always, be blessed today and every day. Thank you for listening. Peace.